the bridge between the star Sirius, Earth, and the midnight sun. Now we know that Sirius is basically the star seven o'clock position down from Orion's belt. And we know that Orion's belt is very important in anthropology and archaeology because Orion's belt is used to orient the Giza pyramids, the China pyramids, pyramids in Mexico and Latin America. So we still don't know why they used Orion's star belts, those three stars there, and that uh, seven o'clock position star is the star Sirius. If you see the video before this one about the crystal skulls, the Cherokee Indian legends and legends of South America say that these crystal skulls have to do with the knowledge of the extraterrestrials from Sirius that supposedly have Earth as and humans as their colony. Now, what do we mean when we say the midnight sun, the bridge between Sirius, Earth, and the midnight sun, the star that our ancestors worshipped and other Egyptian people, etc., is the star Sirius. Sirius joins the Earth with the stargate, which the Greeks called Styx, S-T-Y-X, and we'll learn more about that later. The 12 gods, the Greek gods of Olympus, Greeks, the uh, Atlanteans, the Argonauts, and their spaceship, the Argo, descended and ascended through the Styx, and that ended on Earth in the current Bermuda Triangle. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So this has uh, changes from what we thought. We thought the ancients actually um, did worship our sun, the sun that we see now. Well, ancient Greeks believed that they worshipped the star Sirius, just like the ancient Egyptians did, who aligned their Giza pyramids with the um, Orion constellation belts, stars. Now, the Atlanteans wanted to conquer this gate through which uh, the Atlanteans ascended and descended through Styx and ending on Earth in the current Bermuda Triangle. The Atlanteans wanted to conquer this gate, this portal. Zeus and the Titans fought, and Zeus destroyed the gate of Styx, S-T-Y-X, and we'll go into that later. We'll uh, learn more about that Greek uh, mythology and uh, see what they meant by that. So he destroyed it by dropping an asteroid. Today, scientists say that this asteroid fell on Earth about 9,564 BC. So that's about uh, 11 to 12,000 years ago. Could this, are we talking again about the Younger Dryas comet and asteroids? We know that the Younger Dryas uh, Earth impact was in fact an actual event and that this giant uh, comet or asteroid, they found 18 pieces. Some of them were as big as one to two miles big. Others were as big as a car. Most of them fell onto North America and the Northern Hemisphere, but they're found all over the world. And um, archaeologists and paleontologists believe that that was the cause of the uh, end of the Clovis culture, the megafauna and megaflora of North America, such as the woolly mammoth. Now, this asteroid they believe, today scientists believe, fell about 9,564 BC, which also led to the displacement of the Earth's poles. This asteroid deactivated Styx, where, like a rotating force, like a sucker, it swept into the bowels of the Earth along with Atlantis, and a large part of the stellar energy that this stargate, or this portal, actually had. This energy comes from the suns and was named Lucifer and remains in the center of the earth where it is the midnight sun. Eosphorus, Lucifer, yes. So that is also a sun, but it has the form of a snake. Thus, the Atlantean priests 
also called the Ophites, found themselves in the underground space of the Tartars. They're attempting there, they were attempting to make contact with this force many kilometers be below the earth. They built their underground bunkers and abodes and through the priestly and divination centers on the surface of the earth, maintained the communication and control of mankind. And they rule as supposedly even now with people of their own. And uh, this is according to Panayotis Dravias, I've translated for you from a Greek article. For the life of me, I, this is the first time I've ever heard that uh, they, the uh, midnight sun that they were worshipping was actually the star Sirius, which is very bright, as we can see. And uh, basically, it's at the foot of the, the right foot of Orion as he walks through the sky, the constellation of Orion. Uh, we know that, of course, the ancient Greeks and the ancient Egyptians did have a uh, reverence and some type of a worship of Orion aligning their uh, very special pyramids along his belt. Not only them, but also China and the pyramids in Mexico as well. So we know that they had some kind of a connection having to do with Orion constellation and the star, the very uh, bright star at the foot of his right toe, as we can see here. And also, let's not forget that there are those who believe that the pyramids and the Sphinx were, uh, that have uh, seashells in, encrusted in them, show that they were underwater for thousands of years. So something did very um, evidently change the geology and the weather patterns and the water content of that area uh, since, we, uh, since what we have now. So please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please tell me what you think about this. Thank you.